this is rajiv kohli and welcome back to our channel the teacher and in this tutorial i will show you the use of idropper command available under shape format tab let me tell you one thing that this command is only available in powerpoint and if you select a shape in microsoft word or excel and after that you go to shape format and click on shape fill then you are not going to find that command neither in shape fill nor under shape outline and that applies to microsoft excel as well you can see that the eyedropper command is not available under both of these shape fill and shape outline however if you select a shape in microsoft powerpoint then you can find that command under both of these drop down menus so if i show you the article about eyedropper by microsoft.com then here you can see that in which versions of powerpoint you can use uh, the eyedropper command and that is available uh, from 2013 so here they have explained the use of this command so i am going to tell you the same and i will show you that how you can convert your simple shapes into a beautiful object using the eyedropper command as you can see i have another slide here where after using the eyedropper the cat that i have drawn using the shape tools look exactly like this picture so let's get started and see how to use the eyedropper command both for shape fill and shape outline so as i zoom in and select this ear first and go to shape format and there you can see that it is the white color has been filled so you can either choose the white color from this list or you can also use the eyedropper but let's say i go with the default white color and in most of the pictures you can notice that the most of the shapes will not have an outline so if you want to remove the outline of a shape then you can click on shape outline then choose no outline so right now the slide background is white and that shape has also the fill color white so the next thing i will do will change the slide background color and will apply the same color so for that i will right click on an empty area of the slide and will choose format background and here i will choose solid fill but i don't want to choose a color from this list instead i want to apply the same color as this picture has so i will click on the eye dropper and as you now start moving over different color of this picture then you can click and choose that which color you want so now i will click on this blue color and the same color will get applied to the background of my slide so i zoom out a little bit now i select this here and go to shape format shape fill white and remove the outline now i select the head first and go to shape fill eye dropper and then choose this color you don't need to click on this drop down button to if you want to use no outline again and again instead you can press this button right from here and it will apply the last outline color that you had chosen before so now i select the inner part of the ears and choose eye dropper and choose this color and remove the outline and again shape fill i want to fill the same color so i will click here instead of clicking on the drop down button that way it will fill the last used color and to remove the outline i just need to click here because the last time i used the no outline command so it will apply no outline to this shape as well so i also want to remove the outline of this and this so next is this mouth here and for that i will use the white color and will remove the outline then black color for eyes and if you want to select multiple objects then you can hold down the shift key choose the black color remove the outline and for blushes i will go with eye dropper and will click on this color remove the outline and you can also add the transparency if you want to by clicking on more fill colors and then choose the transparency level like i go with 25% So now I will use the same method to replicate the colors from this picture to different shape layers and will also name those layers and will change their position as I want them on the slide. So you can see that how the eyedropper command can 
copy and paste the color from any other objects into your shape layers. So that is the final output that you will get after using the eyedropper. So you can see that how the eyedropper can help you to copy the same color from other objects into your shape layers and then you can use the selection pan to rename and arrange the layers as you want them on the slide. So I hope you will like this tutorial let me know by liking, sharing and commenting on this video and you can also subscribe to our channel for more updates.